It's shopping day. You go to the store. You get eggs, milk, sugar, and flour. You want to bake a cake for your girlfriend. You go home. She likes it. Item number SCP-7127. Index. You go to the store. Clearance level 1. Unrestricted. It's shopping day. You go to the store. You get buns, beef patties, lettuce, and tomatoes. You go home. She doesn't like the burgers. Object class. Safe. Disruption class. One oblique dark. Risk class. One oblique notice. It's shopping day. You go to the store. She wanted you to pick up onions and potatoes. You go home. You forgot the cheese. She can't make potato au gratin without them. You make hash browns instead. You'll try harder next time. Special containment procedures. SCP-7127 is to be kept in a standard anomalous item storage locker in Site-137. The Site-137 commissary may be used for testing SCP-7127 with approval from the Site Director. Only C-class individuals with cognitive resistance values above 3 and D-class individuals are allowed in the commissary during periods of testing. It's shopping day. You go to the store. You wrote a list this time to help you remember. She wanted you to pick up onions, broccoli, and kimchi. You go home. You forgot the eggs. She can't make quiche without them. You sleep on the couch that night. You'll try harder next time. Description SCP-7127 is a 76.2 by 127 mm index card composed of white card stock. Several phrases of text are handwritten upon SCP-7127 in graphite. The content of these phrases varies, but will always be the name of a food item. Any attempt to write words or otherwise place markings on SCP-7127 that do not represent food items will result in the markings disappearing from the page within a period of five seconds after they were placed. This effect will also occur if any writing utensil other than a graphite pencil is used to create markings on SCP-7127. Items previously written on SCP-7127 may be removed with non-anomalous erasers. It's shopping day. You go to the store. You erased the list and wrote the new list on it. She wanted you to get spaghetti, basil, cheese, and lychee. Are you sure that's what you wrote? You go home. You forgot the pine nuts. She can't make the pesto sauce without them. She doesn't talk to you for the rest of the night. Why can't you do this without fucking up? You'll try harder next time. SCP-7127 exhibits an antimimetic effect on those in its presence. This effect causes affected persons to not notice its other anomalous effects. This does not affect persons with a cognitive resistance value above 3. A CRV of 3 is the baseline for those who have undergone basic required foundation cognitohazard training, which consists of a one-hour seminar. It's shopping day. You go to the store. You use the list again. She wanted you to get chicken, vodka, nochi, and avocados. Some men at the store ask you some questions. You get home. You don't remember the last hour. You don't have your list. You don't have any groceries. She can't make anything. You think her expression could kill. You'll try harder next time. SCP-7129 activates when a subject brings it into a grocery store and will deactivate upon being removed from the store. While SCP-7129 is active, one of two effects will occur every 5 to 30 minutes. The following effects have an equal probability of occurrence. A food item previously listed on SCP-7127 will disappear from SCP-7127. A new food item will appear on SCP-7127 in the handwriting of the person who most recently wrote on it. This item will additionally materialize in the store as an item being sold. The price of the item will be equivalent to the market value of 
the item in the country in which the store is located. It's shopping day. You go to the store. She wanted you to get flour, eggs, sugar, and milk. You go home. You forgot the baking powder. She can't bake a cake without it. You're tired of this. You won't have to try harder next time. <laughs>